Cole House got third place today. We're in Kewaskum at the uh, Sunburst Showdown. Uh, tell me about your race, Cole. I know you said that you had a little bit of issues with your brakes. Um, yeah, first lap, I crashed once up on the top section trying to get around one of the guys and kind of like lost it. And I don't know if that messed up, did something to my brake, but whatever it did, it messed it up. And then same lap, coming down to here, Tristan wasn't, I don't know if he didn't know the course or what was going on, but he kind of stopped and I had some momentum and ran in the back of him, kind of fell again. And I got back on my bike and my brake line was completely undone. So. Oh, so you, you completely lost that line, Yeah, huh? there's my rear brake was rear, just gone. Rear brake. So no no rear brake for, uh, what would you say, about two-thirds of the race? Uh, yeah, so it happened on the, at the end of the first lap, so. Oh, so most of the race, huh? Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, I almost dropped out, and I was like, ah, we'll see, we can ride it. You know, kind of, you kind of have to adjust your riding style quite a bit when you have no rear brake. Yeah. And, um, unfortunately, for me, I, I like the rear brake a lot. I don't... <laughs> I hardly touch my front brake, so it's really different. Um, well, I, I mean, on a on a steep uh, steep hill like this, I mean, you you do use that rear brake quite a bit. So, yeah. are you uh, a little nervous out there? Um, I was hesitant at first, and it was pretty hard to you know get used to it. But uh, I don't know. I just kind of ran ran it. See how it turned out. I, I tried to hide it from these guys as much as possible because I knew if they knew I had a broken brake, they would you know rail it to the technical section because sure. at their speed I can kind of get by but I, I'm a little more aggressive in the technical so I couldn't really do my own pace that I'm normally used to and right it, right uh, it just it's pretty loose so it's kind of I was really hesitant in the turns and unfortunately that was kind of the kind of ended my didn't end it but you know, it set you back a bit yeah it's, it's a little bit of a handicap and uh I don't know, the lap traffic is horrible out there. It's, it's yeah, that's what Tristan was saying, because of the short short laps and you kind of got some of the women and some of the other riders yeah, in there. Yeah, I mean, it's just trying to get three of us through technical single track behind uh, comp riders and, you know, the yeah. women. And it's just hard to have three people to go through, and I don't know, some people don't like to move, so sure, it just makes it kind of... Uh, Crap show. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a good thing you guys got the the gap that you did early on because you the three of you had a pretty good gap early in the race. So I think that um, <coughs> at least even with your uh, mechanical issue here, I think that at least held off with uh, your your lead or you know against fourth and fifth place. Yeah. But I mean, I just like I said, I I tried to ride my own race and keep them behind me and keep them from seeing my brake hosing dangling. So. <laughs> I know it's not the fitness right now, and uh, next week go to shore, so that's a good sign. I mean, these guys are going good. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to contest the end there. Well, I'm sure we'll see you again, and uh, you can redeem yourself at the next one. Um, I think your your home race is coming up pretty soon, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on the dates, but I'll probably be there. Well, we will uh, we will wait for that race, and congratulations again on your third place finish. Thank you. See you at the next race.